and like I thought that was like crazy because like we're talking about school safety today. It's almost like what happens every other day, or at least last year, or maybe it's the year before. But y'all remember the big ripple effect, the wave, uh, the attention factor. Like kids get like you can think of like school shootings you've seen online. And you can put a face on it, like you can remember that kid's face. And most of the time, the kid is distraught, and like uh, you can tell they got something, something's going wrong with them, like mentally. And like that image just sticks in your head, like that kid is, he's gotten the attention that he, he maybe wanted. If that was the, that might have been his goal. And like for most of us, that image is in our head of that kid. So think about that, like everyone across the United States has this kid's image in their head when they think of school shooting. Mine, personally, would be the Florida shooting a few years ago. That's the image that's in my head when I think of school shooting. So in your research, you've done a lot of homework moving forward. Would you guys leave the LCA or go to college, become husband's dad? What will you do differently? What have you learned that you're gonna do differently, uh, personally? I think I'm, I'll definitely send my, my kid to a private school, like LCA. Um, I would definitely look at the school. Like, I wouldn't make it a short, short-term short process. I'd make it a long-term process, make sure my kid's safe, my kid will feel safe. Um, I won't have to worry when I have to drop my school kid off at, at school every day, and go, go to work and go to worry that my kid's safe. I'm definitely going to teach like my future children, my, the future generations that we'll have. I'm definitely going to teach them to know their signs, to know like what's wrong. There's a commercial released a few years back, I'm not sure exactly what year, but it was titled Evan, where it just showed this guy going through school. But in the background of the whole commercial, there were signs of a school shooter, and then at the very end of the, the commercial, he started shooting the school up. And um, basically, the point of the commercial was to show that we need to know our signs, we need to know what's going on. Like, it's it's just a small thing, like the kid was getting bullied in the background or he was looking online at guns, like uh, trying to uh, shop for them or something. He posted something, like he posted on social media with a gun. Like, that's like a huge sign. Like, if anybody sees someone posting on social media, like an underage kid with a gun that's not for like hunting, like if you're going hunting, of course, and then you've got something to get they're like a handgun or something. They're just like messing around with it. Like, I think that should be reported. Like, that's not a group. Even if you are like a fan of games, like, shouldn't be posted on it. Or, and truly, the uh, most of our parents might be comfortable with kids having like handguns and like assault rifles. But uh, also, when you're older, like, nobody thinks it would be their kid, but just for the safety of everyone, it's gotta be like a. Like, every parent needs to lock up their guns, in a sense. No matter what, like, a lot of times you'd see them just, like, in the top of a dresser, top of a cabinet, like, hidden away. But, like, they need to be in a gun safe. Like, that's just what I think. Like, that quote is like, parents' responsibility to keep, like, the school safe. I think they have to keep their own kids safe from that kind of stuff. Uh, two-part question around safety procedures. So other than lockdown, what are some other effective safety procedures that are being used here at LCA or at other schools? And the second part of the question is, have each of you walked through, you know, it's certainly my prayer that there's never an active shooter here at LCA, but should that occasion arise, have each of you walked through that scenario in your heads and what your reaction to that might be? So for the first part, according to the National Education Association, um, there are three keys to like preventing gun violence and uh, to promote uh, school safety. It's increasing access to mental health services, providing a safe and secure learning environment for all services, and taking meaningful action on gun violence prevention. So basically, like for increasing access to mental health services, they said uh, we need more school-based health centers that diagnose and treat mental health disorders. Um, it's also important to access to mental health services because um, they are mandatory to all health care like coverage at the school, which would be very important. Okay, great. Is that the second like part of the question? 
What about the second part of the question? Have you guys walked through uh, the scenario in your minds? As yes. far as I've always thought about what I would do, like everywhere. Like if I was in a certain classroom, if I was in the hallway, if I was in the bathroom, I've always thought about like where, where, and what I would need to do. I feel like our school's done a great job of letting the students know what our job is. If you're in the bathroom, or if you're in the library, or if you the way if you if you're in the classroom, we all have a certain job. What what are those expectations? So if you're here, if you're here in the media center, like active shooters in the school, what's your job? Go to the nearest classroom. Okay. That's what that's what uh, administration has always told us. Okay. Is it part of your responsibility to engage the shooter in any way? I don't think they want us to okay. engage. Uh, you know, they don't want us to. But obviously, that scenario where um, I know that some people would you know, have a personal decision if you're in that. If you could save the lives of a bunch of lives, but obviously you have the courage to do something. <coughs> Maybe you could take like, a safe approach, but like if you could, obviously you'd be like a hero, I guess. Kind of a scary scenario to, to think about, right? Yeah. Yes, for sure. I remember two years ago when all the streams were going on, it was like a daily topic in class. It's like every class, I remember every teacher telling us what they would do in school shooting. And like, some of them have their own little twist on our, our uh, procedure or whatever. But, uh, like, some, I think I've seen it like, baseballs in the field. I don't know if that's what that's for, but I'm pretty sure that, yeah. He's got a baseball bat, too. I know, he's got a baseball bat or something. I've had a teacher who would hide behind the door and hold scissors. I've had a teacher, like, the same as I have a baseball bat. So it's definitely, it definitely varies. Barricades, doors. I like that one. You pop the table. If there's like a window or something, like, I just barricade, like, I know it's like personal decision, obviously, this is like procedure probably. But like, just barricade the doors. Try to get out of that window somehow. If it's safe. What? Oh, I'm sorry. No, mine's, mine's a wrap up question. <laughs> Well, mine was kind of a wrap-up question because I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to talk about everything you wanted to talk about today. So is there something that you have researched that we haven't asked about or a personal opinion that you wanted to share about the topic generally? I was just going to say, uh, yesterday, the shooting in uh, Santa Clarita, it was saying that uh, the entirety of the shooting lasted 16 seconds between him shooting four other people and then shooting himself. So 16 seconds, can you imagine? By the time he reached in his bag and by the time he shot himself, there was 16 seconds. Like, there's not much you can do. Two people lost their lives in that time period. 16 seconds, that's insane. There's not many procedures you can do in 16 seconds. It's like really not anything you can do. Quick decision. You have to be quick with your decisions make your own decision if you're for your life. Yeah. And isn't that why it's good to be prepared to thought through what I'm going to do? Yeah, you know, 16 seconds, so that's like, like once you're in shock by seeing somebody like pull out a gun, you don't even have time to think about what to do in 16 seconds. It's like, I wonder if he was targeting somebody because he just, I guess he just shot himself. Like, I don't really know what exactly happened. But like, I wonder if he targeted just like one person. It wasn't really a, he shot four people, of course, but it wasn't really a mass. You know, it wasn't like he was just trying to, I don't know, that just, that shocked me, 16 seconds. That was very disturbing. I'm not trying to oversimplify things, but use some simple statements. Love win, love wins, hate loses, right? We. You all talked about you you like the environment here because you feel like that's, that's kind of taught. Love and respect go together. You go back a couple of generations, even if people didn't like each other, they had enough love and or respect to say, I'm not gonna take your life, okay? So hopefully the big takeaway that we take is that we're gonna love each other well. Whether we like each other or not, we're gonna love each other and respect each other. 
you've got a lot of these shootings have taken place in churches. You know, there's churches, they're, they're a safe, holy place too. So we can't always protect ourselves from evil necessarily. So just one final thought, maybe I shouldn't even say it this way, but you know, what's what's your eternal decision? You know, Jacob, you've already alluded to the fact you you give a testimony like, hey, I'm I'm a believer, I've accepted Christ. So I mean, that's a, a great thing to do, right? That's that's the safest form of protection we have, right? Is making a decision like that. But but I want you to think about the power of your all's personal testimony and the way you love each other and or just the way you physically protect and say, I'm going to keep a door closed out of here. You know, that goes a long, long way in security. Yeah, I think the main way to look at it is uh, as long as this relationship's good, these will be good. And uh, that, I think that's probably the best way to look at it because your, your like, relationship with God, God will like, affect everybody. They'll, they'll definitely see it. Guys, really thoughtful and informed uh, answers today. Yeah, really well done. Fellas, is there anything else you want to add to the questions that were asked of you today? <laughs>